McLaren says this isn't a supercar, it's just a sports car. But they could have fooled me. The 570S is the new entry-level sport series model from the British automaker, known for building quarter-million-dollar supercars, million-dollar hybrid hypercars, and Formula One racers worth about a gajillion bucks. A lot of the technology from those cars has trickled down into this. It has a carbon fiber chassis, carbon ceramic brakes, and a 3.8 liter twin turbocharged V8 with 562 horsepower. But it's wrapped in a package that's supposed to be more of a daily driver. McLaren wanted it to be special, but not too special. And they failed miserably. This may not technically be a supercar, but it's an amazing car and as high performance as anything on the block. It'll do zero to 60 in just over three seconds, zero to 120 in just over nine, and hit a top speed of 204 miles an hour. Oh, and those brakes will stop it just fine. The way it takes the turns, though, is what sets this apart. This only weighs about 3,000 pounds. It's lighter than anything like it. And McLaren stuck with old school hydraulically assisted steering instead of that electric stuff everyone uses these days to give it better feel. The feedback you get through this wheel is incredible. Just look at this thing. I'm on a smooth racetrack and it's picking up every little nook and cranny in the surface. I think if you drove over an ant, you'd feel it and you'd feel guilty, but you get over it. Agile, nimble, these words don't do it justice. It's more like Tinkerbell with turbochargers. But as much fun as it is stretching the 570S's legs on the track, it is primarily a road car and doesn't mind going for a jog out here. It's got adjustable suspension, comfortable ride, and I can definitely see someone driving this every day. Unfortunately, not everyone. Its starting price is 180 $7,400. But it does come with a cup holder that'll handle a pretty good sized bottle, which is a good thing because if you have this car, hopefully you have a long commute. At Lime Rock Park in Lakeville, Connecticut, Gary Gastelou, foxnews.com.